Deputy Speaker, in just over a week, the National Anti-Corruption Commission comes into operation. This was a key commitment of the Albanese Labor government and it was a high priority for my constituents in Bean. The former Liberal government promised to legislate a federal integrity commission that would regulate government integrity. Instead, they gave us a sports rewards affair, secret ministries and the illegal robo-debt scheme and so much more as we find out every week. By the time of the 2022 federal election, trust in government had diminished and our global corruption rankings were at historic lows. My electorate have been voted for Labor because they wanted greater transparency, greater integrity and greater accountability in public life, whether at a representative or administrative level. The NAC will reduce government corruption by detecting, investigating and publicising corrupt conduct. The NAC will have timely investigation of corruption issues, capacity to publish reports on the investigations and education programs for both the public sector on how to prevent corruption from occurring in the first place. Deputy Speaker, the commencement of the NAC on 1 July is evidence that the Albanese Labor government is delivering on better federal transparency and accountability for the Australian people and doing that incredibly important task of rebuilding trust in government.